Guru Nation, welcome back to a Random Musings from the Clinical Trails Guru. Dan, Chris, we just interviewed Salvador. You could see it and hear it if you're listening. It was so much fun, you wanted to stick around and do another. Yeah. He's going to do <laughs> another one. We got Yusuf, future site owner, business, per business person extraordinaire. Um, started out as a very successful surgery center owner, operator, right? Why don't you give them a uh, background, who you are? So, my name is Yusuf, and I currently reside in Dallas, Texas, and um, I own a surgery center in Grand Prairie, and we specialize in orthopedics, pain management, and also pretty soon we'll be doing podiatry, and um, I'm looking to get into clinical trials, and I'm here with the gurus. <laughs> Thank you. So, why are you trying to get into clinical trials? I guess we'll start there, and then off camera, we were talking about the different opportunities available to pursue and I think we'll mention some of them again because there's people watching and listening that are in your situation same exact place you know no one's identical but similar you know similar interests so why research you're already successful right successful yeah, surgery well, center it's going well yeah um, I, I feel that finding solutions and treatments to various conditions is amazing you know and um, I would like to get into something like that um, and build a future on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's. I mean, he's being genuine about it because off camera he was saying the same thing. You know, he's just he's gonna be the coordinator initially. Like you're gonna actually get your hands dirty and do all the hard work. You're not just gonna hire and outsource and kick back and hope things work. You're gonna actually be involved, and that's what it's gonna take for that first year. That's what we discussed off camera it's going to take about a year for you I mean you have you have the infrastructure you have doctors you have different specialists you have patients so you have everything you have the real estate you just need to plug in the business model of a site network and that starts there's a lot of people watching listening that want to start site networks and they don't have anything they don't even have one site they don't even have the ingredients you know you have that and now you're just going to start one side at a time, mm -hmm. like you should. I mean, you don't have to. You can scale initially, but when you're learning, there's a good year-long learning curve for running a site, and that's just to like not screw up tremendously. Yeah, I think in order to be successful, you have to do everything yourself first, and I think um, you know, joining your academy will help you a lot. Mm -hmm. Understanding the various positions and uh, going out there and doing it myself and also coordinating with you guys. Both yeah. academies, Site Owner and CRA Academy, and CRC Academy, which we're starting in September. Too. Double major. Double major. <laughs> uh, so as far as like the, we discussed earlier, I mean, what's his plan, what's his roadmap here? What's the next step? Like when he goes back to Texas tomorrow, so or next week, when you're going back tomorrow? I'm going back Thursday. Thursday. So when you go back, when he goes back, yeah, this was a nice conversation. How do we make it practical for him? So you need to have a conversation with your business partner, and then he needs to have a conversation with all his different doctors. So you have the capability of taking every study that comes on, right? In a sense, when Dan says one site, yeah, technically it'll kind of be one site, though it may be three different sites, right? Just learning the processes, procedures on how to do everything slowly, right? You don't want to be, you don't want to have 14 studies at each site, right? At 50 sites, you would be overwhelmed, right? That's not how you want to do this. You want to take on two or three trials and get your feet wet, and get an understanding of what you're doing. But you want the capability, so you're not waiting forever, because all of your PIs are inexperienced. You want the capability to take every trial that comes your way, right? So have a conversation with all these different doctors. Make sure that they're all capable of dedicating an hour a week to this. It's a lot of people that have those ingredients that have been very successful doing what you want to do. And there's also been many that have failed. You know, and I think the variable really is you, like the owner. Like how hands-on are you willing to get, which is why I was very happy when you said you're willing to do all that work and not just hire people to do it because that's a good way to fail if, if you get if you remove yourself from the equation like working on the business which is what we teach in the site owner academy 
is just as important as working in the business initially, especially when you don't know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, so I think that's what I recommend. And then Salvador, you know, he's his background is in the phase one world. We're not even going to get into the phase one until like year and year five, I think. And then that's only if you want to get into that. <laughs> if you don't, then don't get into it. Cause that's, I mean, you can you can explain it. Yeah, I mean, can. Uh, it's competitive. Uh, yeah, WCCT actually started off as a a single research site, right? So one of the the clinics that you're working with. One of the many, like we were just one. Uh, we were a single clinic, and after doing uh, late phase research for a few years, we that's when we were able to transition into phase one. You see, we had the we built the infrastructure, we had the experienced personnel that were experienced in research, and we moved into phase one, which was a bit more you know time intensive and labor intensive, just because of all of all of the data you have to collect. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. Dr. Kim was the founder. I mean, I've met him a few times, but he was a treating physician. Right? Allergist. Allergist. Yeah. So he started with allergy studies. Mm -hmm. And then he just got more diversified, started doing where you're doing partnering with different doctors, specializing up, out, getting into the phase one work. And that company's been, I mean, that, that grew so big and then it got acquired and there's investors. Like, it, he became a huge company. He's not involved anymore. Uh, right, he's not. He's no longer involved, or he still right. is. Uh, but uh, so you know, now he's doing other things. Uh, so the opportunities don't end. There's tons of opportunities here, but I think the first year you're going to focus on. Okay, I, I need to learn uh, the ins and outs of running the business and then working in the business, and then what you discussed, building a team, building the systems, building the SOPs. That's the, one of the most important things in this industry is having SOPs in place. And I think that's going to be one of your strengths because you're actually interested in that. Gen he's genuinely interested in building sure. systems. You know how many of our clients or potential clients we talk to? They just use whatever template we give them for yep. SOPs and then they're done with it. Yep. And they don't even like think, can I actually do this? You're mm -hmm. going to be building it. You'll use our template, but you're going to modify the heck out of that thing to serve your purposes. And I think that's the best way to go about doing that. Mm -hmm. Any other advice you want to give? No, I think that's good. Um, Salvador, any words of, wi of wisdom? Put yourself out there and go to conferences. Start and with our conference yes. in September. So I'll definitely be there. Thank you. Which is, Presenting. Uh, I'm going to send you the link right now. <laughs> September. September 6th, the Friday, 6th. September 6th. Link under this video, uh, free in Irvine, California. My favorite place. That's free. <laughs> Can't beat that. Um, so, any questions you have? Any last questions? Uh, um, I think I have a lot of questions, but um, right now I'm excited. Excited to meet you guys. Um, looking forward to learn and yes. going back to Texas and explaining to my business partner, you know, what I've learned today and how we're going to proceed to the next step. I'm excited in coming back to Irvine. I love California. I love LA. Yeah. So this is a good excuse for me to come back and not only you know enjoy LA, but at the same time learn. That's right. Which I'm really motivated. I can't wait. And we've about. never actually done one of these, Chris. Yes. Right now, for those watching in the future, it's July 23rd, 2019. I can't wait till July 23rd, 2021, when we do an interview with you again, and you're just like super successful site network owner. I mean, I can't wait till we do that, right? Or even if you're on your way up, like people will see the difference, mm -hmm. right? And see that it's possible with the ingredients and with the right support system in place. So you gonna make a note of this? Actually, yeah, I'll remember. remember. Uh, you said uh, mm -hmm. July 23rd. I'll go right now. And we'll have Salvador back yeah. there. We'll be a reunion. But you're gonna have to do it remote because you're gonna be way too busy. Oh yeah. Taking you want care of time things for us in, te in Texas. I think, uh, you know, the persistence things will grow. So mm -hmm. if I start tomorrow and I keep this up, then we will grow. Why yeah. start tomorrow? How is it? Just Why not start, start at 2 p.m.? Start 2 p.m. <laughs> well, the, the thing that you don't even start. know, here's the beautiful thing about, the thing you don't even realize is when you started your surgery centers, like you've already started on this. You just didn't know about this yet. But the, you're using the same infrastructure yeah. for this. So you already started. You just need to plug it. You need to yes. connect the pipes. That's all it is. 
All right, thank you very much, Yusuf, Salvador, uh, Chris. Thank you all very much. I will catch you all later. Bye.